Okay, so you've made the right decision by opening this video. And please don't forget to share and like the video. Uh, so if you have any questions or you're not clear on any on anything, you can comment below. Yeah, and this act as if failing is impossible. And remember that whatever the mind of a person can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So for me to evaluate 1.3 squared plus 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.3, the first thing I'm going to say 1.3 multiplied by 1.3 plus 1.3. 3 multiplied by 0 0.3 so 1.3 multiplied by 1.3 that's 1.69 plus 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 that's 0 0.39 so 1.69 plus 0 0.39 that's 2.08 So for me to factorize completely this expression 5px minus 5py plus 3qx minus 3qy I can see that 5p is common into 5px minus 5py so I have 5p 5p into 5px that's uh, x 5p into 5py that's y plus 3q it's common there 3q into 3qx that's x 3q into 3qy that's negative y I, and i can see that x minus y is common uh, in the equations then i can write 5p plus 3q So for me to calculate the percentage loss, I know that the formula of percentage loss is equals to loss divided by cost price multiplied by 100%. Since I know the value of cost price, this means I need to calculate the value of loss. So loss is equals to the selling price minus the cost price. So I can say loss is equals to the selling price that's 2000 kwacha minus the cost price that's 2500 kwacha so 2000 minus 2500 that's negative 500 so this means a loss that was made uh, was that of 500 kwacha so I can say percentage loss percentage loss is equals to uh, 
uh, the loss that's 500 divide by the cost price that's 2500 multiplied by 100 percent so 500 divided by 200 500 multiplied by 100 percent that's 20 percent So to simplify 2y squared minus 3y minus 5 divided by y squared minus 1. I can factorize 2y squared minus 3y minus 5 by finding the product sum in the factor. And I can factorize y squared minus 1 because that's the difference of two squares. So that's, that is going to be y squared minus 1 squared. So to find the product sum factor of 2y squared minus 3y minus 5. So my product, that's negative 10. And that is found by multiplying 2 multiplied by negative 5. In my sum, that's negative 3. And that is found by getting the coefficient of y. And my two factors, that's, that, uh, my two factors are negative 5 comma 2. So... I'm going to say 2y squared minus, I'm going to get my factor which is negative 5y plus the other factor which is 2y minus 5 divided by, uh, since I know that y squared minus 1 squared, that's the difference of two squares, that is going to be y minus 1 and y plus 1. So I can say 2y squared minus 5y plus 2y minus 5 then divide by y minus 1 1 and y plus 1 so I can put my brackets in that way then I can say that y is common so that is going to be 2y minus 5 plus 1 is common then I'm going to have 2y minus 5 divided by divide by y minus 1 and y plus 1. And I can see that 2y minus 5 is or is uh, common. So I'm going to say 2y minus 5. Then I'm also going to say y plus 1 divide by y minus 1 and y plus 1 so I can cancel out y plus 1 uh, on the denominator and on the numerator so I'm going to remain with 2y minus 5 divided by y minus 1 